Yeah. I can't, I can't. I'm watching the dog. He's kind of stuck. I'll need to set him back, back there for a while really? and dry out. I remember I got the call from Bob. I said, man, you got to get up here and you got to get up here now. They had them the geesers here and they're acting silly. Now they're not flying until 10 o'clock, so we can get up around 7, go work out, get some coffee, and head over and set up. I said, dude, I'm on the way. <laughs> Travel, headed over to Avery. Loaded my excursion up with you know, 75 of the fully flocked lessers. And, and at that point, I had everything you needed for four guys to hunt, you know, and uh, effectively kill geese in the back of my excursion. You can't beat that. This stuff just packs in great. But um, left, ended up leaving here about 7 o'clock, so I didn't get to Chicago until. Three, four o'clock in the morning. Got me a couple hour nap, and uh, we got up and headed over the field. And uh, Rob Sproul with Ultima Waterfowlers taking such a good care of me when I get there. <coughs> 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 Up. And that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All I know is this is what we came to. That's all to uh, the right there, baby. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, here comes the single. Somebody shoot him. I right, tuck him in, there's three coming here too. There's a whole bunch of them. These are right, these are right. Hey, kill these birds, kill these birds, kill these birds, kill them! Damn 
There you go. Nice yeah. shot, Mike. Nice shot. Hey, Dad. Hey, we're done. Yeah, ten kills on video. Uh, get a couple more. Yeah. Right? We'll do it. Thanks, Bob. Yep. How you doing? Case yourself here. Hey, uh, we're driving by. We just drove by the the sod field there, and and uh, looks like they're packed back in there again. Um, care if we get out there in the morning? All right. Uh, we'll bring you by what we kill, so you can see it. So, all right. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Mm, bye. We're in the money. Yesterday evening we got in here and uh, from the highway we could see there's probably about 10,000 birds scattered all over the place. They're in the corn and in the sod. And uh, it was just a sight to see. It was, you know, something that you, you almost just had to really be there to see it. Um, the weather was calling for an east wind, which we uh, got our game plan together where we were going to set up. And we pulled up in the morning, and uh, the wind had shifted. It was coming out of the northwest, uh, which actually worked out for the best because we can get up on this hill where there's a lot of thick corn. And uh, we got set up in there, and, and uh, the hide was really well. <laughs> Where you say making 7 a.m. Saturday even better. Oh yeah. Again, he avoids most of the grassing with his gilly. Gilly. How you doing? Man? Like it. The multi. You know, some people wait till they get in the field brush to blind, and some people do it at home. You know, some, I just choose to do it at home. Some people do it in August. <laughs> zip ties and a. Ready? They're straight up. They're by 11 o'clock, Kevin. 
Ready guys, he's stealing right here. Go! Sure did look like a lot of fun that Casey and the boys were having down there. They were out field testing the new SS2 and the SS1 goose call. You know, I was actually invited in on this hunt, but I ended up coming down to Memphis to hunt with Buck. We were trying to film a timber hunt. It didn't turn out too good, but I can guarantee you I will be in Kansas next year on a late season honker hunt with Casey and the boys. Now let's get back to this hunt. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
On the three, Kevin. Okay. Show it, Adam. Show it off, baby. That thing has two bands. Sweet! Awesome! <laughs> He's a rewardo! Woohoo! Is it a reward? Rewardo! Honkers, honkers, honkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caden, you get one of these bands right here. You want the one that says $30 on it, or do you want the one that says... <laughs> <laughs> He's not picky. I always say the one that's worth thirty dollars. Give the man the money. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. That's first one here. Look at this. Hot corn. <coughs> All right, guys, let's get out of here before they let's let them get back in here again for tomorrow. Sounds good. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. You know, it was really neat to have those singles and, and pairs come in early like that. You know, give give Colton and Caden a, a definitive shot before before everything else started piling in. It was, uh, it was really neat to see him pop that first one with that little 20 gauge, and you know, just to see him uh, see him relish that was pretty was pretty cool. But then, you know, then when you've got flights of 50 and, and 75 and 100 coming in, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't get much better than that. I'll say 
it was definitely uh, definitely a day to remember. And then uh, you, you throw a double banded bird on top of that. I don't uh, I don't think it uh, I don't think you can do anything better than that. I didn't. She brought it back to me, and I was so busy lining her up on the next bird, I didn't even notice it. And then uh, I looked down and, and saw the band, and, and Nick was hollering, "Look at the other leg! The other leg's banded too." That's uh, that was a first for me. I'll say that. So it's. Uh, Definitely one of the better days I've had. Man, we got some great stuff this year, y'all. Thanks for watching Foul Play 5. We hope you enjoyed it just as much as we enjoyed making it. Remember, when you go outdoors, take as many little guys and gals as you can possibly take and leave the outdoors just a little bit better than you found it. We look forward to seeing y'all on down the road on Foul Play 6. Thanks a bunch. May God bless you all. Come on, little boy. Oh, China! Here we come, guys. It's going to be the shootout of the OK crowd. You ready? Get him. <laughs> that was incredible. I can die tomorrow. Welcome to your life, Avery. Buck Gardner Calls presents Foul Play 5, Made in the USA. Sponsored by Avery Outdoors. Greenhead gear, as real as it gets. Briley, a legacy of shooting innovations. Cyclops, get out of the dark. Quest Outdoors, tradition and innovation. Gerber, Gerber Legendary Blades, fend for yourself. Hodgman, since 1838. Hot Hands, we're hot when you're not. Tritronics, the standard. Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession. Remington Country, great guns deserve great ammo. We make both. Walker's Game Ear, the number one choice for hearing protection and sound amplification. 
Interco Tire Corporation. Tough tires for tough terrain. Timex. Be there now. Kickies. Land Pride, the smoothest ride out there. And War Eagle Boats. If you want to check out all our products, calls, and gear, visit us on the web at buckgardner.com. We're down in the river bottoms. The river's at about 20 feet here in Memphis. And this is a perfect place for Briley's new timber and teal choke. This is my choke. This is for the guy that wants to get them in here tight with him and he wants that choke to open up and be as dense and as full an effective pattern in close range as you can possibly use. This is the choke that Briley makes for the guy that wants to get them in tight and shoot them right in the lips. All Briley chokes are made out of 17 4 stainless hardened bar, bar stock. That's great. You know. you know, the biggest thing is, is the way we spin the choke off in the finish, we don't have to polish them afterwards, so we don't upset the internal geometry that makes those chokes consistent choke to choke, shot to shot. Riley's new duck decoy choke is for the guy that gets them in over the decoys, wants to shoot them there, and wants to put out an effective pattern at 30 yards. If you want a pattern at 30 yards that's dense and full and about the size of a beach ball, the new duck decoy choke is the one for you. Brawley's new duck passing choke is the ideal choke for the guy who has to bat cleanup. You guys, you know who you are. If you're with your bunch and everybody else shoots and they're all done, you're the guy that's got to step up and knock that cripple down that's going away 45, 50 yards. You want something that you can put it right on his head and finish him. Brawley's duck passing choke is the one that'll do that. Brawley's new goose choke is the ideal all around choke for the guy that's going to hunt those big birds. You're going to have to shoot a, a bigger size pellet. You're going to shoot them in close and mid-range and going away. And you want to choke them. Still got some punch out there at 35 or 40, 45 or 50 yards. Riley's goose choke is the one that delivers at every step over the decoys out to the far edge. If you're taking other people hunting and you're letting them, especially kids, shoot, and it's a real windy day, every time that goose flaps his wings, He's 10 to 13 yards further away from you. Two or three flaps of his wings, and if you started at 25 yards, he's almost at 60 yards, and you've got to have a choke that'll finish him. And Briley's new extreme range is the one that'll do that job. You know, the, the way our CNCs work, uh, the parts are not dropped in a bin. A human hand unloads each choke so the threads aren't dinged, the skirts aren't Yeah, dinged. there you go. That's cool. Oh. You know, the, the new machine, you got a robotic arm that unloads it. Uh, we, every seven or eight chokes is checked for spec uh, ID. The way our tools are done, uh, we plunge bore those chokes so they're always perfectly uh, concentric. They're perfectly in line with the threads. Uh, you know, we uh, knurl them as a second op, slot them so the guy can put, you know, with the extended, they can put them in and out by hand. You know, okay. the black oxide coating on it helps reduce the glare. Yep. The way I look at it, this thing works just exactly like it's supposed to. That little D on there stands for dead. You put it <laughs> right out in front of his nose, and I tell you something, he's done. He ends up like that. <laughs>